adjust the height of the forehead support for an ideal fit of the mask. On short faces especially, if the forehead cushion lies too close to the patient's hairline, it cannot function correctly. To adjust the height of the joist easy, remove the straps from the forehead support. To do so, loosen the upper hook and loop fasteners on both sides and pull the straps out. Turn the blue element 90 degrees clockwise, slide the forehead support to the stop, and then pull with a little more force to remove it completely. You can see that the horizontal bar on the support is not centered on the mask body. Turn the forehead support 180 degrees. The numbers are now on the other side. Leave the blue element in the open position. Insert the forehead support in the opening and apply a bit of pressure to attach it to the mask. Close the blue element. Thread the straps through the slits and close the hook and loop tabs. Now that the height of the forehead mask has been reduced, the mask can be adjusted to the patient's face. To make a mask fitting, first remove the elbow from the mask. Imagine the retaining ring is a clock with the tip of the ring at 12 o'clock. Turn it to 11 o'clock and lift the elbow to remove. Now, you can look inside the mask body to check the fit of the mask. The patient can breathe more easily and speak with you if necessary. Connect the tube with the elbow. Then, set the tip of the retaining ring at 11 o'clock and turn it from 11 to 12 o'clock until it clicks into place. The therapy device can be switched on with the on-off key or the patient can breathe into the mask to activate the device with the auto start-stop function. The color coding on the hook and loop fasteners helps you to identify the upper and lower parts. The upper tabs are light blue like the sky and the lower tabs are dark blue like the ocean. Outside, the straps are light blue and inside, dark blue. For simple and correct assembly of the straps, lay the headgear with the light blue side down on the table. Look at the tabs to make sure that the correct color is in the right place. Place the mask on the headgear and connect all four ends with the mask. The Joyce One family also has color coding. The inside of the headgear is marked with a green cross. Connect the green clip to the green matching part on the mask and the transparent clip with its matching part. Thanks to the silicon stopper, the color coding remains when you disassemble the straps. Fasten the upper ends of the straps to the mask. The clip has two small hooks up front. When you squeeze and pull the gray connector backwards, the hooks are pushed down and the clip detaches from the mask. The clips do not detach if you simply press the clip or pull on the headgear. The clips for Joyce Easy Next FF differ only in size and color. They function in the same way. When you push the clip's blue operating element backwards, the clip detaches from the mask. <laughs>